that intro never gets old. Love it. Will he or won't he? Can he or can't he? Do he or don't he? I do. I can. And I will. It is ready. Well, I was going to do something easier today. I was going to do a landscape. But, as you can see, my printer pooped the bed. I need to put more ink in it. Sorry, give me two seconds here. OBS updated. I want to make sure the change of controls does. It's so weird. It always turns on auto zoom and white balance and all this stuff, even though I have my settings dialed in. So it shows up kind of on point. Color correct. Best come color correct. So that being said, we're going to make it up as we go along. No landscape today. So we'll, I guess we'll do another character. It'll have to be one I'm familiar with. Let's do... Oh yeah. Send out the link. In case the people want to come. Watch me struggle. Right? Because that's what it's all about. Done. Hang in there. All right, so let's come on, you. Mr. Ryan Stuckman posted a new cover he did. Looks good. All right, I can see the chat, so hopefully one or two people show up. I'll catch it out of the corner of my eye and see it as I'm drawing. Alright, so I said I'm not going to do any big two characters because they've stolen all the mojo from the creators they're ever going to steal. Plus, we got to build out the Comic Skate universe, right? Make it comparable. Got to build into the mythos. Hey, what though? I'll say no big two. Well, I, I can do that. It's like evading getting uh, Bill Sienkiewicz's digging it out of storage, the uh, Daredevil, and going through and painting like a two or three page series from that just to do it. Um, to kind of try to backwards engineer what he does. But I think I'll do Slain instead by Biz. Because, one, it's not big two, and he's more in the vein of what I would want. A little more over the top, as to where uh, Sienkiewicz is a little too uh, close to the reference. 
I like how his stuff is almost all made up. Like, I'm sure he'll use some photo reference for shadows and, and or color scenes, but it's processed so much through his lens that you couldn't tell it, I'm sure. I'm sure if you looked at the photo he may have used, you wouldn't be able to tell he used it. Okay, so, here we go. Let's do one of the Omega Squad. Let's do one of the gals. I feel like yesterday's sketch was... Oh, I should have done it, spent more time on it, but... Like I said, I'm... I'm trying to learn to paint, right? It's not about creating something cool in your sketchbook. It's not what a sketchbook should be used for. I can give any one lesson to anyone. Even though I'm not here to teach anyone how to paint. I'm teaching myself how to paint. I guess the one thing you could learn... Let's do a shot instead of a shot. Would be maybe learning how to learn. Because you'll hear me talk about that. And you'll you'll see me do it. You'll see me figure stuff out. Like yesterday. I was I was trying to figure out how to lock in shapes. Let the paint do some of the work. Head sketch. I guess what I'll do today is maybe focus on painting hair. Try to figure that out. So I should have studied some. Put up some line decker. Might pull that up here in a second. Let's do that. You go to open this. My decker was too good. Artists don't understand. I guess they do, but I wish all artists did more of their day to day process. Which I myself am going to do. See, the problem is uh, John doesn't want any of his stuff shown. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is record some of the pages as I draw and then release them at a later date after the book is out. So I'll just have to get quite a few in a can. Get them in the can. So evidently J.C. Lindecker didn't draw very much hair on women. Actually he did. Drew a lot of dudes. Rumor has it he liked the dudes. Yeah, he the way he he painted. All right, share this. Isn't that shocking?
Man, everything got dark all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, so all right, we got his hair there. Toss it over here. It looks like he's doing it, obviously, in shapes. But then he's breaking those shapes down into, like, ribbons. Kind of like a, uh, wrap a present and you put the ribbon on the scissors and pull it and then it twirls up. That looks like what he's doing, so. Alright, so we got our, our big shape. And this is like the fractal nature of the universe right here, right? Shapes with repeating shapes within shapes. That's kind of how you do the body, too, right? You get the core, then you split it into four, and then you split each limb into fives, right? You just keep branching out. Once you see, once you start seeing that, you can't, uh, you can't unsee it. Right. Here, let me get the eyes in. I don't know where the shadow or the interlocking shape is going to on her. The women's different. There's not a lot of high contrast on a woman's face, and if you do it, then you don't want a woman with a 5 o'clock shadow. At least I don't. Somewhere else. Dudes that are into circus babes. <laughs> All right. This chick's name was Circe, but I think it's been changed to Sasha. little trick on drawing the mouth. If you have the mouth open, you know where you want to open. Draw the opening, then put the lips around it. Right? Also, I when I when the way I construct lips is Quad, right? That's a shape. And this is a shape. This is a shape. And this is a shape. You'll see, I can kind of get that natural highlight that's there. Later today, I'll be on the Zade Comics stream. Boy, Phil, and I think the book. That their shilling is called Perfect Ten, so I'll be drawing a buxom babe later today too. Collarbone, kind of like a uh, bicycle. 
handlebar. That from main dude Glenville Poo. He has some life drawing courses you can buy. They're like video lectures that are. I think they're shot on site at Disney. Back when they used to be really, really all about it, super strict. Their stuff's getting more stylized now. I don't know that. The requirement was to know. <laughs> to know the anatomy front to back as much as they used to, since their stuff's going more to cartoon instead of Disney princesses. Let's just keep shutting up. Stay on. Right. This eye is too high, so I gotta fix it. Or should I raise that? This hairline over here should have been a little higher. Right. Right. Anime style sweep. Jeremy Dale was a master thing. Rest in, rest in peace, Jeremy Dale. That guy got taken out by the flu back in twenty fifteen. Back before it was made into a thing, I'm guessing he, he may have got the swine flu that was going around that was, all intents and purposes, just as deadly as COVID. Except it, it wasn't necessarily politicized like it was this time. That happened. Everything gets amped up to a 30 30 out of 10, so people go crazy. But yeah, he got it and got the flu and, and passed away within a couple of weeks. Oh, my battery's running low. That's why my screen went dim. Plug in my laptop. There we go. Bright as can be now. Looks like that has my camera all stuttery. What's up with that? Guess what? We make the rules here. I might just relaunch. Choppy, or how about this? Going to deactivate my webcam. Activate. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to relaunch the stream. Be right back. All right, we're back. Allegedly. 
like it's trying to slow down again. See, that's what I get. You update your software. Next thing you know, everything that worked doesn't work. Computer nerds, they can't leave shit alone. Boobies in the shadow. Casting a shadow. Because I draw have depth. All right, so let's think about this. Oh yeah, we're focusing on air this time. Not those interlocking shapes. Alright, so we got our line decker up. Looks like that's gonna be a highlight. This whole area here is maybe catch it again right here. All right, with watercolor, it's additive. Not subtractive, I think. Anyway, you got to go from light to dark. This is where if you're doing or dark to light. It's an opaque medium. And... Yesterday, I feel like I didn't, let's do that, I didn't solidify the sketch enough, but again, you know, I want to reiterate, I'm trying to learn how to do stuff here, not necessarily make each drawing I'm doing the winner, right, or painting I'm doing, because I'm trying to learn how to paint. Make her eyes pretty. Eyelashes. But we all decided on to go. That's a it's pretty. his name. Adam Hughes is like the master of eyes and eyelashes. So is Mark Sylvester. wonder how much reference Adam Hughes uses. Mark probably uses his freaking wife. Let's do the ribbons. Make solidifying just a couple of areas. So, this piece flying out of here. Oh, 
Hmm. I guess it's no, it's not. So that would. There. All right. All right. All right. There's this one kid in school. I'm not making fun of anybody. Jeez. He's no weirder than the rest of us, I guess. But he was always known as an artiste. He could draw. He was like a big fan of the Ninja Turtles. But he drew holding his pencil like this. Almost as crazy as Larson. Just start at all. You can see the the van and everything. Well, he was always, you know, I had more contact with him, I guess, in middle school. Once got to high school, it was just, you know, too big, too much going on. Everybody had their their clicks. Anyway, so I pull in the driveway after, you know, all my buddies. This van pulls up <laughs> at my parents' house. And uh, Alan Pinkston is the guy's name. He got out. I don't know this other kid's name. But at this point, I was known as like the best artist in high school. And Alan like pulled up. He's like, You gotta give me your secrets. You need to get better. Like, what are you doing? How are you doing this? And I'm like, Oh, well, I just start talking to him about all the books that I've been getting and read, like uh, all the stuff that Jim Lee had recommended. The Bridgman books and that. I don't think Jim ever recommended the Bernie Hogarth books, but I got those too. And I went in the house and brought them out and shown them, him and his buddy. And it was super weird. Anyway, so Alan's like showing me all of his recent drawings. This kid who looked like Riggs Moranis. Alan showed me this girl rabbit. <laughs> you know what stupid is? I, I realize like the the few streams I've been on with Phil. And then now I'm telling this other story. And the furry joke keeps coming up. So after this, there's going to be a moratorium on furry jokes for me. Like an NPC with these hand furry jokes. Anyway, so Alan shows me some of his drawings, and this the rabbit chick shows up. So it looks like a female Bugs Bunny, basically. And the, the, the Rex Moranis kids, like, yeah, when he first showed me the the girl rabbit, I got a boner. Just like Jesus, Christ, what am, what is going on right now? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that happened. Who knew? Had those types all the way back then. All right, we got us a, a, a pretty babe.
Let's do some watercolor. Try one of my sloppy soppier brushes. Okay. Emmons. Booker. Razor dust painting. Okay, got a little color down. She's a blonde, but some girl. Great. There's some watercolor on my eraser here. Oh my. He's being one of them artists. He's frustrated and he's tearing his studio up. All right. All right, what's the deal? We can't can't get it on. Can it's like um, wash wash. What? It'll never be as white as the paper. Uh-huh. 
I don't like this moppy brush. First time using it. Color bone, booby shadow. One of the things, like, uh, learning to paint uh, that I'd read for years and it just never hit or clicked was understanding, like, a gradient shadow, right, versus hard shadow. So, like, look at the paper. See how it's, like, faded, the shadow up here? If I get close, it gets crisper. That edge is called the terminator. So when doing my cross hatching, I got this thing. It, it helped uh, the cross hatching make sense to me. Let's let this dry for a second. I'm going to get less. So let's say you got a guy's bicep here. See a little tricep. Depending on where the light is, and if it's a spotlight versus ambient light. Well, in comics, we tend to want to draw a little more high key. At least I do. And I'd say overall, the majority of artists want to draw high key, right? Now, if you look at the shape of a bicep, it's, boom, it's a curve to it, right? So let's wrap it in like a 3D grid. This is not as sharp as this. So this, right, so I got my shading like that, and I'll do this thing here. It's like a, a optical illusion that we have for the Terminator. Like this edge seems darker than it really is. I guess because of like bare eyes, HDR. But here, instead of this tight edge on the shadow, I would pull it. That's how you make your shading make sense. When to do what and where. All my years, I was a little more haphazard with it. Kind of just doing it to do it. Because that's what Jim Lee did. That's what Rob Liefeld did. That's what Mark Silvestri did. That's what Wills did. And I just never understood the, exactly why I was doing it. I mean, you got like a general understanding, you know, like almost a natural, like you you see it and that's kind of what it is. But the science behind it, like really breaking it down, I didn't, I didn't get all that until taking the painting course by Scott Robertson. So in painting, since it's flat, we got to fake it. Then we have like an actual shadow.
like so. Now, do I want the shadows cast on her to be... Stop. How long have I been gone? Go to my YouTube. Second. Try to keep this at around an hour. All right, 41 minutes. So I'm going to focus on here. I'll keep the soft brush. We'll build it up. I'm gonna build it up. Great. Right. So he did ri ribbons. So I'm gonna try to get in ribbons. Just I, I don't turn my canvas, so I didn't do that as a should have. So. She got roots, bloody roots. Any Sepultura fans watching? No? You know why? Nobody's. Got that little shadow shape there out. Kind of like it. I'm actually choking. Down on the brush so far, I'm like on the bristles. Sloppy moppy. Sorry, not like slappy peppy white white. Yeah. We're rolling with it now, baby. All right, ribbons. Here. Careful, careful, run. Alright, I want to turn the blow dryer on. I'm scared it's going to blow the pools. It's open.
some cute. After that dry, the Terminator disappeared. Oh well. Alright, I think I'm going to put the big top brush down. It's a flat brush. Should we use this fella? It's not really it's a wrap. Could use one of these guys. That's focusing too much, I think, on strands and trying to get that look. Let's try this guy. Might not hold enough paint. All right, so how does Line Decker handle the Terminator on the hair? Yeah, he has a little bit of a darker spot right before the the highlight. Ribbons. A dig.
Now the question is, how do I want to get the darkest part? I, think I might do that with just pencil. Right, let's do another. Let's get a little magenta. Got it. Couple cuts on the boobage. Lost. Uh. So, try real quick. We're almost done. Gotta get the
No, don't you dare. Don't you dare, you son of a bitch. Remember those interlocking shapes? Talking about? A bit of gravity taking over there, too. Heavy was my brush. All right. What's that? Oh. It is just going bananas on me here. All right, let's get the eyes. Hopefully, insane trying to run everywhere. I should have tried it. Come on, Blue, wake up. Mm -hmm. All right, blow dryer time. This thing's trying to make me suicidal right now. For the sake of time, I'm going to do the eyes with the colored pencil. I gotta sharpen these. I only did the same one yesterday. I complained about. Kind of unifying it, I guess, a little bit with the blue. Now let's go.
Rouge Toskin. Like the urge. Do it. That one's going to be too dark for what I want to do with the hair. No, we'll just go with straight up orange. Mm -hmm. Lighter with it, kind of emphasize some of the ribbons we made. a certain inky like thick to thin and I want to keep of a bounce good anchors look or do that like like my anchor Jimmy Forehead there. Just trim it back. And let's do a red. To chisel out the nose a little more. All right, I think we're done. Done enough. So we tried to figure out the hair today. I'd say it's... We did a good enough job to claim success. And good enough job to know that we need to sharpen our pencil. Do better next time. Yeah, yeah. Okie doke. See you guys next time.